Oh my god, cake. It's Alex's birthday. So we had to get her a good cake. Better nothing but the best from Walmart. <laughs> Matt, can you tell everybody who Alex is? Alex is my cousin. She's also one of our merch team members. So if you order stuff, chances are Alex helped you get to your house via the web, uh, mail from the website. So also, if you've ever been to an event, chances are you'll see her here. See, it works out perfectly. I mean, you order stuff. I mean, I've ordered stuff multiple times, so that's probably come from Alex. Alrighty guys, well Matt is getting that set up. How are you guys all doing today? It is beautiful out here in Indy. It is day three of Streetcar Takeover, and they're doing drag racing today. So, it is about 11, almost 11.30, so we've got about 30 minutes until they start racing, plus some more time probably, because you know, it doesn't actually ever start on time, and it's always late. But, we gotta get this important stuff done first, and then it's gonna be a busy day. Light them up. Oh gosh, it's actually kind of windy. Alright, Matt, nice and steady now. Oh boy. <laughs> they blew up. Say to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alex. Happy birthday to you. Well, now that all the fun is over, it is time to get down to it. We are going to be rolling through the pits and getting shots of these really, really cool cars. Like, we got this meaty tired Civic right here, and then we got a GT500, and then we've got a S2K. A lot of really cool stuff out here today. We're gonna get to photos of the pits, and then head over to the strip for racing. Check it out, guys. Hi, Matt! So that thing right there is an older Ford Taurus, I think, almost positive is. And it's like insane. This thing's like, I think it's a nine second car, and he's trapped like 150 some miles an hour. So it was a uh, pretty, it's a pretty crazy build. The turbo on that thing is massive too, and I, I don't know. That thing is just super unique. Got a bunch of photos of it, really good detailed shots. That'll uh oh damn, another F body. That's at least the 40th F body I've seen in the past two days. So cool story. So all street class is about to get lined up, and there is an oval track back there that they are all gonna like line up at and like make 20 laps around it and I get to I get to ride in the bed of well I was originally gonna ride in the uh, back of a Corvette like in the trunk but I kind of prefer to be in the in the truck because it's like a it's like a higher angle and I can like look down on the cars and get all of them in the shot for sure so that's gonna look really really cool but then after that is when the new racing starts the driver's meeting just ended a few minutes ago and it's uh it's gonna be a really good day Oh, you know it's going to be a good day when you see a Nismo GTR. God. And it's for sale. Probably wants like 180 grand for that thing. All right, and we're off. Holy cow. So give you guys an update on what just happened. So I rode in the back of that vet, and I thought it was gonna be a truck originally, but I rode in the back of the vet. Hey, what's up? Uh, How you doing, man? I'm good. Guys, this thing is insane. Will you, will you tell me a little bit about your car, man? Yeah, uh, 63 gal 63 and a half Galaxy uh, 500 twin turbo Coyote, big tire, big power. Uh, mostly for the street, but we're trying to see what we're doing with the track. What are you What are you predicting? In the force. In the force. In, in the eighth, of course. Yeah, um, moderately. That is in the an force. ATSV pulling up in the uh, beach right now. We ran out there on seven pounds of boost. Got kind of his daily driver. Got off at the 330 and ran a 550. So. Up, that's sure that's, that's not bad. Uh, not bad. And even on that, uh, it started getting up on the tires at the 330, let out. Like I think it ran a 550 at like 80 mile an hour. Damn. So. 
Well, man, good luck to you. So it should be four fit, four fifties. Four fifties. Yeah. All right, that'll that'll do good. I can go take it on a couple hundred mile cruise. So. Well, there you go. That's what's cool about street and drag car. Right. That, that thing's well, really cool. But, you but run your time uh, right from here. what I was yeah. saying, the trunk of the vet would get pushed down by the wind, so I'd have to like hold my left hand on the trunk itself, and then my right hand would be taking pictures, obviously. So that was a. Uh, Pretty insane. The staging lines are full right now, and we are about to. I think I'm gonna try to go get up there in that little spot and get some like, you know, uh, higher advantage shots. You know, that way we can make it look real good. And there's our rear wheel drive Civic. Alright guys, we got the big boys coming. We got an LSX F body and then a big ass turbo Civic. Happened. Some dude just got married. He literally like he sell his car. Do what? Said some dude's about to sell his car. He's about to sell his. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> he liked it, so he put a ring on it. Oh, that's true. That's, that's true. Beyonce. Dude, they literally they literally did it right here. I was so confused. Yeah. He was like, Hey, you got a roll like, window. Roll your window up, dude. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> the dude gets out of the car. We're like, get back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you're breaking the rules. <laughs> he got on his knee, and we're like, Oh. Like, oh wait, I get it. Right. I was like, oh, I'm standing over here. Right. I'm like, what's going on? I see a ring. I was like, oh my god, go get the shot. It's happening right it's now. Happening. It's happening. I shot a bunch of highlight photos done uh, in pits and on the track, and that proposal was pretty insane. So apparently, he's been trying to do that for a year since last year's streetcar takeover. So good for him. That was really cool. I'm going to go to the stands, get some more pan shots. I'm going to park right here next to these, uh, the Civic and this nasty Subi. Well, that's pretty sweet. We'll just get right here. Damn, that was so close. Guys, I am straight killing it on the pan shots today. I don't know what it is. I was just on the phone with Scott and I was telling him that I was like doing really well with the pan shots. And he was telling me like, you know, there'll be some nights where like he'll get one out of ten photos that are like decent pan shots on that. And they're not best mediocre of the one thing you know that he gets or whatever. But days like this, I've got like I don't know, like I'm gonna say seven out of ten are like on point. It's really it's uh it's really cool. Delivery for Nick. Oh, thank you. Oh there you go, my friend. Awesome, thank you. Sir. Hey, no problem. I'm gonna go smash this in front of God and everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody, uh, like 100, 200 people. I'm okay. That's, that's fine. That's okay. It'll look like a petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you enjoy that, man. Thanks. Who will our next contestant be? He is somewhere in the pits. That's that's what I have word on. And uh, my battery's about to die, so let's switch that out real fast. Dun 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 dun. Excuse me, sir. Hey, sir. Uh, I've got something for you. Oh, you brought me food? Dude, yeah, absolutely. You're like my new best friend. This oh, is great. Look, I also got you a Coke. Words can't describe how happy I am right now. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. Cheers. Absolutely. Just to like give you guys like an idea of how fast-paced Scott's job is, I have about less than five minutes to eat this, so... I'm gonna go park somewhere real fast, close to the track, of course, eat this, and then hop on the track for more photos. All right, guys. Just like that, five minutes went by. I have to stop eating. I wasn't finished, but it's okay. I gotta get some gnarly pictures of these things because they're about to run nine, so it's pretty cool. Whoa. 
So that guy ran a 740, it looks like, in the right lane at 186. That was insane. And then the other guy ran a 920. So, I mean, I was expecting nine seconds out of both of them, but apparently he, uh, he killed that by like a second and a half. Alrighty guys, so I have not filmed the club in a while because I've been extremely busy and um, this is the small tire final and I'm going to set you guys up right here because I need to grab photos and I'll let you guys watch some launch and then I'll pick you up in a second. Left lane takes it. All right, so I'd just like to point out that Mo had a great time, and uh, he'll probably be back to help us. I mean, Are you for real? Probably. Yes. Probably. I, th I think I think it all turned out pretty well so far, and um, I've got a lot of work to do come Monday and Tuesday, and probably tonight. But um, I don't know. Did you have fun? Yeah. Oh yeah, I had fun. I'm super exhausted though. Like it is a. Uh, it's been an exhausting, like, we were up till like 7 on uh, Friday and then we were up till 4 on Saturday and then we've had this super long day that was only supposed to go till 6 and yep. it's like 7 or 8 o'clock. 8.20. It's 8.20. We got lied to. But he had fun. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Welcome to every 13.20 trip ever. If you don't leave tired, you're not doing it right. True. There she goes. <laughs> there she goes. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for Streetcar Takeover Indy. It was an absolutely amazing event. Matt, I just want to, I just on the, on the behalf of Give, the Gimme Some Mo Productions, I want to thank all of 1320 for bringing me on and trusting me to cover this event. And, you know, and uh, in replacement of Scott being sick and shit like that. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, so big thanks to you. And uh, I hope that we didn't scare you off and that you'd want to do this again <laughs> if we asked you to, because you came through and you took some good photos. And that's, you're a blast to be around, quite frankly, man. You made this fun. Dude, that, that's like a huge compliment. I appreciate that. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, show your support to my channel. As always, I do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next video. He deserves that like and subscribe. Peace.